I have been holding myself back from making this video for a very long time because I understand that this video is basically, when it comes to my channel, a minefield of cancellation, okay? This is the hottest female fighter in the UFC tier list. I'm going to tread very carefully with my words. However, I'm not a man who minces my words, so I am going to be critical in some departments as well. This could be a very colourful video, is a word that I'm going to use to describe it. And I am going to use this tier list to rank women's UFC fighters in levels of attractiveness, S down to D tier. There's only room for one female fighter at S tier, and that's going to be the most attractive women's fighter in the UFC. There are some exceptions to that rule, as you'll see as the video goes on. But I just want to say, I was holding back from making this, but I'm doing it, okay? Because someone donated $100 to my live stream recently and said, no more holding it back. You have to make this video. We've been asking you to make this for such a long time. Well, here you go. Wish me luck. Sit back, grab your popcorn, and watch a true alpha male, like myself, sit in a shed and rank women that he has no chance of a sexual encounter with on attractiveness, on a tier list scale, like a true giga chad. Okay, we're going to get straight into the video. I'm going to pluck out some women's MMA fighters, UFC fighters, sorry, from around the perimeter of the screen and place them where they belong on the tier list and give them, I'm, I'm going to give my, my short brief reasons as to why I'm placing them where they are. I'll try and keep it in a MMA guru classy-ish type of way, which may not be classy to many people nowadays. We're going to start with... Veronica Macedo. Well done, Dan Hardy. Congratulations, Dan Hardy. Congratulations, Dan Hardy. Well done, Dan Hardy. We need a parade for Dan Hardy. Congratulations, Dan Hardy. I wish you the best of luck in life. Okay? Congratulations, Dan Hardy. We're putting Veronica Macedo... In the A tier section, a true beautiful female, okay, is all I'm going to say about this. A tier for women's UFC. I'm actually not going to place an S tier women's fighter. I'm going to put them all at A tier, and I'm going to play mind games with myself at the end of the video on who to put higher. But let's move on because there's so many to get through. We move on to another one, which is... Shayem Vlismas. Almost said Shayem Bays. But she's so attractive that this has led to some relationship problems for her. Okay? Roman Delizzi, my man. Okay? Sorry, JP Bays. I'm really sorry. Um, we're rooting for you in your next matchup, though. Either way, you're probably rooting for Tabitha Ritchie, who may be in this video as well. Because she's fighting Shea and Velismas soon. I'm going to put Shea and Velismas in the B-tier section of this tier list. Attractive, yes. I'm just noticing a difference of noses. That's all I'm going to say. And that's the difference between A tier and B tier. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. We're going to move on to the next. Oh, I'm going to get cancelled. Let's move on to another fighter. Who is? Casey O'Neill. I want you to navigate the pictures against each other. Those don't match up. This doesn't match up. We're going to put Casey O'Neill at C tier. It's very difficult to be ugly these days, is what I'm going to say. Okay? It's quite difficult to be ugly unless you have some kind of deformity. Um, so not really anyone's that ugly on this list. However, Casey O'Neill is less attractive than the levels of Shea and Velismas and the levels of Veronica Macedo, is all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm just noticing it's a, I'm, I'm noticing a bit of a resemblance to Bilal Muhammad in the eye section of Casey O'Neill, and the nose is a bit long. We move on to another fighter that's going to be on this list. Who is? Oh God, it's Tabitha Ritchie. Now, the body is glorious. Okay, it's a wonderful treat, but the face is of a quality of a B tier. I'm gonna say. Understand? For me, a face goes a long way. 
Because a body these days can be artificially added. Let's be real. And that will be the case with a lot of fighters on this list. I may get too soon. I'm going to put Tabitha Ritchie at the high end of B tier. Okay? She may well go on to be A tier. I don't know how, to be honest with you. Usually doesn't work that way with age with women. But there goes a copyright strike. There's a flag on the channel. Tabitha Ritchie is at B tier on this tier list. I'm so sorry. You may disagree. Great body. But the face has some inaccuracies, let's just say. We move on to the next minefield. Um, uh, Misha Tate. Not the hottest of takes. I think a lot of people, when they think of attractive women's MMA fighters, immediately think of Misha Tate. In her prime, I do agree. However, let's just say it how it is. Women's primes are short-lived, okay? And Misha Tate's prime is really gone and out of the discussion. And the face is looking a bit creative. We're going to put Misha Tate at C tier. Good women's fighter. Attractive. But not quite at the level that the cream of the crop are at A or B tier in this video. We move on. Okay, and fake tits. Negative points, okay? Cheating your way to success in the attractiveness ladder. Not allowed on Guru's rule set. Moving on to another person on this list. Who's gonna be? Oh, God. It's Tracy Cortez. Now, this isn't the most flattering of pictures of her, I will say. Some of these pictures do not accurately represent the female that's on them. But I've seen many other angles of Tracy Cortez. And we know the angles. Some of the cameramen at the UFC do the Lord's work in the way and shows. Tracy Cortez, in my opinion, is a vintage A tier. Okay? And when I say vintage, I don't mean aged. Like a wine. Okay? I'm talking... She's a, a cream of the crop of women's MMA fighters. Brian Ortega forgot about his kids for Tracy Cortez. He ain't seen him in months, okay? For Tracy Cortez. Well done, Brian Ortega. Congratulations, Brian Ortega. I bet you're escaping triangles all night long or not escaping them. Who knows? I don't know what you're into. But there's a lot of triangle defense going on in the midnights of the Ortega and Cortez household is all I'm going to suggest. We're doing a lot of practicing on triangles is what I'm imagining, okay? We move on to another women's fighter on this video. Who's going to be? Rose Nami Yunus. Oh, the simps are coming. The simps are going to get me for this one. We're going to have to speed this up though. Rose Nami Yunus. She was here. Okay, maybe here with the hair. Um, the face was a bit better. It's less caved in back in the day. She's taken some damage in her career. Let's just be honest. I think now we're going to sit Rose Nami Yunus towards the lower end of B tier. Is she a beautiful woman? Yes. But I've got to be objective here and put her where she belongs. And that's at B tier. I just feel as though since she's been with Pat Barry... Um, she slowly started wearing more dungarees, more children's clothing, and the hair has been shaved. And I'm not saying Pat Barry's had any influence in this, but, um, starting to look less like a beautiful woman, more like a childish boy. Either way, Pat Barry's preferences are his own. Let's move on from that minefield to another one, which is gonna be Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, they're, they're going to get me. How could you not put her at S tier? I'd let her triangle me on. I'd eat my way out of it. Like, you know what I mean? I, I know that comments are going to be here. I'm sorry. It's got to be C tier for Shevchenko. There's an aggressiveness in the voice. Um, Come on. This is not how you do this. You know, I can just imagine it in the moment. It's just going to put me off. And Shevchenko's bottom lip. is drier than Adesanya's elbows. Uh, it's it's extremely dry. Okay? It's extremely dry. It's drier than Jordan Levitt's wife's pussy. It's extremely dry. 
is all I'm going to say. The bottom lip of Valentina Shevchenko on occasion is so dry that it makes me physically repulsed. She's a good looking woman. Um, she's veering off of that spectrum now, I think. She's getting up there. You know what I'm saying? But either way, still good, still quality, still C tier. Misha Tate's attractive. Casey O'Neill's reasonably attractive. Shevchenko's in the mix with them. Maybe higher up on that list than them, in all honesty. Okay? Tight ass as well. Either way, moving on. To another woman in this video who's gonna be... Oh, God. Ariane Lipsky. We're going at A tier. Not much to say about this one. Shaped like an ironing board, but the face, very attractive, very beautiful features, very symmetrical. Y mucho gracias. You know what I mean? It's, it's very enjoyable to look at. It's a piece of art, the face of Ariane Lipsky. Congratulations, Ariane Lipsky. You've won the genetic lottery of faces that you can have. The rest of the lottery of genetics that you have have not quite been a success, but you know what? Some men are into ironing boards. Ariane Lipsky is going to be at A tier. We're going. This is me taming myself. Yeesh. We're going to move on to another woman on this list. Who's going to be? Amanda Ribas. This is an interesting one. I'm going to put Amanda Ribas at B tier, but I will say it's one of the higher B tiers. I think her personality has won people over. Even more so than her looks. Don't get me wrong. I've seen that clip on the Embedded episode that she was in. The cameramen of Embedded do the Lord's work. I commend you, cameramen of Embedded and cameramen at the weigh-ins. You know just the angles we need, okay? We've seen the clips of Embedded. The face is great of Amanda Ribas. It's not quite this level of face. That really isn't a good representation of Tracy Cortez. I'm sorry, Cortez. But I'm still going to rank you appropriately anyway. I'm ignoring that, okay? You do have a bit of a big head like a Space Raider, though. But either way, Amanda Ribas is B tier, high level B tier. But to be honest, the Chucky like laugh would be an off putting factor. <laughs> it's just a bit too much to maintain a rectal girth. Let's move on to another woman on this list who is going to be. Yovani and Jacek. We're looking at a low, a low C tier, is what I'm saying here. Let's be honest, Zhang Weili did irreparable damage. But there's something about Joanna. Listen, I don't know if you guys are noticing this as well, because there damn sure ain't no women watching this, I'll be honest. Okay, not really my audience. If I'm honest with you, there's something about Joanna that just... She wants sex, and it's just a natural... I don't know why this vibe, uh, like, emits from her, but she knows what she's doing. She knows how she's acting. Yuani and Jacek is a horny bastard, is what Yuani and Jacek is, and she's on her, it's on her mind all the time. I know it is, just by the way that she acts. There's been these women around, everyone knows that woman, okay, they've been around that woman who has this type of energy. They want... To be railed, let's just be real with it, okay? Like, Yuani and Jacek is desperate for Chode, all right? Yuani and Jacek is at C tier. There's something about her vibe. Looks-wise, not of the level of this. Maybe the level of this. Not of the le level of these two. But there's a vibe to Yuani and Jacek that just makes you want to try it out anyway. Very attractive, all of these people. We move on to another women's fighter. Who is... Pollyanna Viana. Now, this is a strong candidate at A tier. And let's just be real. The faces in these pictures, although they can be biased at times, they're a pretty good representation of A, B, and C. Am I wrong? I'm putting Pollyanna Viana at A tier. Great face. Great hair. I like when she has her hair down. She's recently cheated the system. I mean, listen, Colby's been there, done that. So I'm not sure if I want the sloppy seconds. But at the same time... She's recently cheated the system with a pair of, um, you know, not so natural occurrences on the top half of her body. Let's just be real. I'm going to lower this down real quick just to get it all in screen. But Pollyanna Viana is an extremely attractive woman. She's a beautiful woman. So I'm going to put Pollyanna Viana at A tier. And this is going to be a struggle to pick an S tier from. I can already tell. We move on to another women's fighter who is... 
Karolina Kovalkiewicz. I'm just gonna, there's a, there's a syndrome called granny face syndrome, and it exists within females, and Joanne and Jacek is gaining that syndrome by the week, and it might be the damage from the fights, in which case respect, battle scars, mucho, bueno, two different languages, I think, Karolina Kovalkiewicz is at C tier, I don't know how, but sometimes she has boobs, and sometimes she doesn't. I have no idea what's going on there. It's a bit of a mindfuck. However, the expectation they could be there at some point is enough to make me put her at C tier. Let's move on to another woman. And this is the risky part. This is the risky part that can get me cancelled. Lauren Murphy is in the mix. And, um... If I had to tell you guys to draw a heroin addict, we're going to move on to another woman in this video and leave Lauren Murphy at D tier, is what we're going to do here. Understand? Let's move on to another woman. Who is Amanda Nunes? A woman. She's a man, duh. Nunes. She's really a handsome woman. A real handsome chad of a female. We're putting her at D tier. To be honest, there's not really much features that are flawed on her. I just don't swing that way. In, in a way of woman. I don't swing that direction of the women that I go for. Let's move on immediately and quickly. And swiftly to the next one. Who's going to be? Juliana Pena. Okay, this is a... This is a bad picture of Juliana Pena, if I do say so. There's a vibe to Juliana. The body is there. A large... I like a tall... I'm a tall guy. I'm a big guy myself. I like a bigger woman. I feel like it's a little bit weird to have a woman who's like 5'3", five 5'4", five like some of these straw weights are. I like a bit of a taller woman, okay? My ideal height, I would say, preference-wise, is probably about 5'10", I would prefer. Um, but Juliana Pena is a tall woman. She's a good-looking woman. Uh, a woman. She's, she's not multiple. Stumbling over my words here. I would rank Juliana Pena in a category of attractiveness. You know what I mean? Girl next door. Buss it down. Level attractiveness. Oh no, I'm going to have to stay behind for some detention. Type of attractiveness. Juliana Pena would fit right in to a teacher porno sketch. We're putting Juliana Pena at B tier. We move on to another woman in this video who's going to be. I had to include her anyway. It's Valerie Lareda. This is a good picture of her. She annoys me, personality wise. Just going to say it, Valerie Lareda. But it's a glorious set of yams, and the cheeks are great, all right? Let's just, just say it how it is. It's a great set, and you know they are as well. Or you wouldn't shake them like that after a celebratory dance, okay? Valerie Lareda is cream of the crop female. She's on a different level, okay, when it comes to women's MMA fighters and women's UFC fighters. I didn't even... Valerie Lareda is so good for a fighter. She's made it into the UFC tier list whilst never fighting in the UFC. Valerie, that should be the ultimate compliment, okay? You've made, you have got the level of beauty required to infiltrate a video you don't even belong in, just to be featured. Don't be angry at me. Moving on to another situation which is going to be Oh, it's Macy Barber. That face. Uh, we're going to put Macy Barber at C tier. Again, one of the lower levels of C tier. Um, she's a well-known female fighter. She's a prospect, I guess you could say. Robberies included. Um, there's just a slope to the back of... Some people's back of the head. It angles outwards. You know what I'm saying? 
Like you look at the back of some people's heads, it, there's like a cranium to it. It's sort of like straight downwards with Macy Barber, and it's off-putting, and the face is, you know, it's just, uh, it's lacking the perfection that others have acquired. What am I doing? Macy Barber at C tier is what I'm going to go with. Let's move on immediately to <laughs> Michelle Waterson. Oh, Michelle Waterson in her prime. Woo! But this ain't the prime Waterson anymore. In all honesty, Michelle Waterson's looking like a Karen. But an attractive one. But I would let ring the police on me. Do you understand? Just to like get a, get something out of it. Like some maybe like I can confuse myself to find it arousing. Like who knows? She can have a problem with me being too loud in the neighborhood anytime. Okay? And things may get louder if she has a problem with it, in all honesty. So she can come over and complain again and I can get another look. Michelle Waterson is vintage. Okay. There is a problem with the aging. Of course, she's no longer in her prime. But she's still going to be a solid B-tier candidate. Probably until the end of days. Well, let's not get too deep on death and life and death cycle. But Michelle Waterson's at B-tier. Very attractive. In her prime, she was the cream of the crop. But the baton has been passed. Okay? It's the only fans era of MMA fighters. We move on to another women's fighter. Who is? Alexa Grasso. Now... Again, this picture doesn't really do her justice. But Alexa Grasso is a solid A tier. There is a lack of the bunda, okay? There's a lack of the jablus. There's a lack of some there's a lack of some things. Okay? There's just I like my girl's 3D. Is all I'm gonna say. And there are some 2D ones out there. If Alexa Grasso turns sideways, I might miss her. In all honesty, and scoot right past. Alexa Grasso is a very beautiful woman, though. And when she's facing you, and you can see her, she's extremely beautiful. Very beautiful woman. Very good aesthetics. Symmetry, sy symmetry is there. Very beautiful, Alexa Grasso. Bien. Moving on to another woman on this list who's going to be. <laughs> I've made some exceptions. Now, I've seen a lot of fighters talk about the most attractive female in MMA. And I've seen them doing this. I've seen them doing this. I've seen them doing this. I'm doing this. There's many reasons for this that could all get me cancelled. Has anyone seen the Gremlins film where there's a female gremlin? <laughs> there's also a case that will be further a chance of getting me cancelled. I just worry sometimes. You can't deny me, boys. If you were out in a club and you were a bit drunk. And this woman, female, as you assume, approached you and started flirting with you and wanted to get it on. There would be a sure doubt in your mind that maybe Rachel wasn't quite a Rachel. More of a Ralph. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Let's just move on. But there is a worry that I would end up spending a night with Rachel Ostevich. And maybe I would wake up to hearing, You fucked me real good last night, buddy. I'm really worried about that, okay? And you can't tell me... I, I find it actually really weird that people put her at number one. I wanted to make a point in this video. I do not understand it at all. 
is a real worry. So, Ostovich, I'm sorry, dude. Ma'am, I'm putting you at D tier. Moving on swiftly. Oh, it's Cynthia Calvillo. Honestly, with makeup, Cynthia Calvillo, with the right red lighting scheme, just going to say it, with the right red lighting scheme and the right vibe in the club and the right lighting, Cynthia Calvillo is an extremely attractive woman. With makeup. Without makeup, it's a, uh, it's, uh, you know, some of these will hold up without the makeup. Cynthia Calvillo's going at C tier. She at it. She kind of bad stool, you get me? Moving on to another one, which is going to be Jesse Jess. Oh, like, like a strong, this picture doesn't do it justice. I know there's been some work done, Je Jesse Jess. We know there's been some work done, okay? Up here, down there, up here. I don't know about up here, you let me know. But there's been some work done. However, I will accept the work that has been done because the work that has been done has been groundbreaking. You were somewhat cute before, but you have reached the level of a Harlequin cosplayer, in my opinion. And I think Miss Jessie Jess is a strong candidate. I'm not even going to make it Lareda because she normally probably would go up here, but she's not in the UFC. She's in the mix for S tier, in my opinion. Miss Jessie Jess. Incredible. Okay? I think she's in the mix amongst the top women of this list. We'll get to that towards the end. Move on to another situation which is going to be... Ah! Moving swiftly onwards. To the next one on my list, who's going to be Holly Holm, aging like cheese. We're put, cheese age as well. Uh, aging like, Holly Holm looks good for her age, man. What am I going to say? Like, she's an older woman. She's that, you know, you know, you can bring your friends over more often, honey. Like, she's the milf of milfs, in my opinion, but I don't even think she has kids. So, Holly Holm is wholesomely beautiful. Nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant, okay? But we, I got, sorry, that last one, I'm so sorry. Moving on. Holly Holm is beautiful. Beautiful woman, okay? Very pure in her heart. I'm not trying to insult her in any way. But the aging is occurring, and we're going to move on. Um, Holly Holm, you're beautiful. Inside and out. Very pure of heart. I just can tell. There's a wholesome vibe to Holly Holm. I'd want to get with Holly Holm because she kind of deserved... Well, she doesn't deserve me. I'd probably fucking... That'd be a punishment. Either way. We move on. Montana De La Rosa. Wow, I forgot I put her in this. Okay. Underrated. B tier. For Montana De La Rosa. In all honesty, B tier for Montana De La Rosa. Mark De La Rosa... Anyone who's a short guy, I can't relate, but if you're a short guy out there, Montana De La Rosa is with Mark De La Rosa. She has watched him get beaten up so many times. He is 5'6". He is still with Montana De La Rosa. Well done, Mark De La Rosa. You've achieved great heights, not in your career, but in your life. Treat this woman good. She is out of your league. Montana De La Rosa is underratedly attractive for a woman. I forgot about Erin Blanchfield. She probably would have been C tier. Just putting it out there. Tisha Torres probably would have been C tier as well. Moving on. Too muscular though, actually. I don't know about that. Either way, we move on. We're putting Carla Esparza at D tier. It's just... You know... This picture does her justice. We're going to move on. Zhang Weili. I believe Zhang Weili sits right here. There's something about Zhang Weili. I don't know what it is. There's like a decent lookingness to Zhang Weili. And I, 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 it's so sus. I don't know. With the short hair. But with the long hair, it's better. But the short hair, there's like an edge. You know what I'm saying? But there is a bit of a Korean zombie vibe. 
with the short hair. So I don't know about that. I'd probably be thinking about the Volkanovsky defeat while I'm trying to make it happen. And that might be quite sad to envision. But Zhang Weili is... You know what? Zhang Weili's cute. Handsome! Cute. Zhang Weili. Cute girl. Good job, Zhang Weili. And she's wholesome. Bonus points. We move on. Two. What are you doing? Oh, the ass. Oh, I, I mean, uh, Montserrat Ruiz. I've leaked it. I've already given the reasoning. You probably wouldn't be here. But there was an occasion where she wore a bunny outfit to a weigh-in, and I have never forgotten that moment. I've never seen such bunda on a women's MMA fighter. I've never seen a wagon carried by someone trying to trying to make weight. She's cutting weight with that wagon. Montserrat, if you know, you know, Montserrat Ruiz. I don't need to see the face. You know what I'm saying? The angle don't even need to be there. We move on. Oh, Big Mac Dern. <sighs> this picture is better than actually she is. I think this is a great pic. This is an unfair picture. This is a red carpet picture of her. In reality... The face is the low point, but it's still good. But it's the low point. But this is a great picture of her, of course. But it's just like... You know, there's no altercations done to the body. It's just a blessing sent from above. Well done, Mr. Dern, because I'm assuming you took the surname of Dern, because you don't have the authority to stamp your own surname in that, because this is Mackenzie Dern's life. And you're just living in it at this point, okay? Well done. You will take her surname from now on. Little bit of a horse face. But we're going to go with Mackenzie Dern at A-tier. Very good looking. And you know. You know the shapes that are outlined by Mackenzie Dern's silhouette. I'm dancing around this topic like a wizard. Mackenzie Dern casts a shadow that I'm attracted to, okay? I don't need to see Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern can cast a shadow in my area. And I'm done, okay? I've lost at that point. It's all over, all right? Like, the silhouette of Mackenzie Dern is an attractive silhouette. Some can't have that said about them. We move on. Anyone else in this? There's one more. Who's it going to be? Yeah, that's been a lad. We'll put her at fucking... In between B and C. She a Little bit of a... Tomboyish body. But she a You know what I mean? Feel bad for her getting abused by a coach. You know what I mean? Sometimes the, uh, the verbal onslaught's a bit too much. But either way... Um, throw some punches, bitch. We move on. Who's S tier out of these? This is a 33-minute video I've drawn out. <sighs> Who is S tier? I'll tell you what I'm thinking immediately. Valerie Lareda is exempt. She can't win. You probably would win, Valerie. I'll be honest with you. Okay? But you are a bit annoying. But let's not let's not anger her too much. We're gonna elect. The the ironing boards are excluded from the conversation. So we're going to elect these candidates, I believe, is what we're going to do. And I think this is the criteria of what you're going to choose from. Okay? By the way, wait, Ronda Rousey would be fucking C tier. She's overrated. She ain't even in this. But Gina Carano might be S tier. I'll be honest. Gina Carano was something else. In her prime, before she got fucking yoked to be a fucking Marvel fucking villain or whatever she fuck she was. Either way. In terms of attractiveness, I'm honestly going to have to say. In terms of pure attractiveness. I think we eliminate Cortez and Dern. Pollyanna Viana's face is natural. 
I think she is the most attractive female UFC fighter. Facial-wise, in terms of who I would like to, you know, violate the Panani of, we're going to go with Dern. But that's not the answer. Who's the most attractive female fighter? It's Pollyanna Viana. I believe. I don't know if that's the one I'd most want to get with. I'd not, I'd, I'd not get with any of these. But, you know, listen. Lauren Murphy, Lonely Nights, you know, who knows? I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't, honestly. Ah, uh, why am I digging a grave? Either way. I'm not. I'm not qualified for the B's and A's and S's. I understand. But if I was, I'd rather, if I could just live any night of experience out, I'd rather Dern or Jessica Rose Clark or Cortez. But in terms of pure attractiveness, she got fake. They're all fake in some way, though. I'm going to go Pollyanna Viana in terms of beauty. I think is what I'm going to settle on here. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This may be the last video you ever see from my channel. Please don't report me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Toodle pip. See you later. Yeah. Well done, Dan Hardy. Congrats, dude. Honestly, because you're a bit weird looking. So, good job.